everybody. I brought the chicken. Today I'm going to make Korean fried chicken. Shijang Tongda. Shijang. Shijang means market. So market chicken. So you remember my Yangnyeom Tongda coated with red sauce and also Dakgangjeong. Sweet crunchy crunchy chicken. You remember? And also honey butter chicken. These chicken are so so popular that millions of people watch and make this at home. If you visit Korean market in Korea, Korean traditional open air the market, they have their own know-how, secret, how to make it very crunchy and tasty. The store by store, they have some different shape, but usually market chicken that I know is that like a whole chicken, one whole chicken is fried. First, I'm going to season this chicken chicken with salt and pepper. This chicken is a whole chicken and cut in half. And just the salt is a three pound chicken. And each pound you need a quarter teaspoon salt. And ground black pepper. Season like this in a couple of hours in the refrigerator or even overnight you can do this. But today I'm busy. I'm going to move forward. I'll just uh, set aside here and then now I'll make better. Quarter cup potato starch, all purpose flour, two tablespoons. Baking soda, quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon and salt. Quarter teaspoon. And then this is the secret ingredient. Roasted soybean powder. So nutty. I just learned this when I was living in Korea. When I visited my cousin's house, she always bring the really crunchy delicious chicken because her next door is a chicken place. One day I followed her and while the lady was just frying the chicken, I, we had to keep watching until all finishing. And I saw the batter is a color is a kind of little bit like a, uh, some creamy color, a little tan color. I asked the owner, so what makes it this tan color? And she said, konkaru. I said, konkaru is a roasted soybean powder. Konkaru, two tablespoons. Konkaru leftover always freeze this and put it this in another plastic bag so that the smells are always like a nice smell. I will add one large egg. Ice cold water, half cup. That's it. Color is a really nice yellowish color. I'm just uh, heating my oil. This is, I'm using cast iron pot. I added two inch cooking oil here. Also another trick, I learned this. So this oil is like a brand new oil. Doesn't have any flavor. To give flavor, some onion. I will add some onion. Small onion. So let's add this here. This is really hot oil now. I'm going to coat this my chicken with a quarter cup flour. My house smells so good because of this onion. So now, very crunchy, I like to remove this onion. This oil has a really onion flavor. First this, so let's cut just a little bit, like this. The leg area, cut. And leftover flour, just well mix this. And now, I will just put this one and just simply. This is around 350 Fahrenheit. I will just fry 12 minutes. 
And then later, I will just do one more time, double fry. So occasionally, just to turn over. I'm not running a fried chicken store, just only for my family I'm making this. I cook first the half of chicken uh, because uh, my pot is small, but if you want to have a big party, just uh, you can go ahead, like a big, huge party, you know, filled with the lots of oil, and then you can just uh, put the, all the chicken just at the same time fried. Between medium high and medium, so control your heat. When you see the color, it's a little brown, and then turn down the heat. So 12 minutes, so let's take it out. And now, this guy turned. Okay. So let it cook around two minutes. Two minutes after, you can turn over. For Shijang Tongdak, we always uh, serve with salt. Just a little salt here. And half pepper flakes, just a little bit. And ground black pepper. And sesame seeds. So this is salt. You can dip this chicken with this mixture of salt. I turn over. Mu pickle. It's a radish pickle. Serve with this. I made this and I kept it in the refrigerator, so very cold. I made just a little amount. I turn down the heat to medium, okay? 12 minutes passed. I need to heat this oil, about 30 seconds. First half chicken. Take this and your scissors. You see, inside is pink, it's not cooked, and here too. So another 12 minutes I'm cooking. After finishing your first fry, it looks really, really crunchy. Why you want to cook in double fry? You will see there is like some blood coming out. The inside is not cooked yet. So I'll put it here. And then next to this, heat up my oil. Let's add this. This chicken is maybe one hour later, it gets a little soggy. So once you make this, just finish eating. And then you really enjoy the crunchiness. Yay, crunch, crunch. Here is a chicken, chicken for you, have some. <laughs> One thing I forgot, I need a beer. I put this my glass in the refrigerator and everything is cold. Oh my God, the foam is a lot. <laughs> Cheers everybody. Mm. Beer latte. <laughs> okay, let's have some chicken.
Mm. So delicious. Crunchy, hot, and pickle, radish pickle. Mm. This radish pickles, you guys can make so easily. This recipe plus videos on my website. Really good. Mm. The soybean powder, I can feel the flavor. And crunchy, very crunchy and lightly crunchy. So inside the chicken is very juicy. Salt. Mm. <laughs> Today we made Hijang Tongda market chicken. Crunchy, crunchy fried chicken and sold in the Korean market. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.